Welcome to RCR Wireless here at CES 2015. I'm Lamore Schaffman. Joining me is Yossi Kohn from Magnacom. Yossi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Limor. So what is new here with Magnacom this year? Magnacom is uh, showing at CES 2015 a tremendous progress along a number of areas uh, versus our showing in 2014, a year ago. Um, our progress is, uh, I would say, is emphasizing key, three key areas. First one is in the area of our uh, IP portfolio growth. In 2014, we've gone from uh, 40 patents to well over 100 global patents that the company has filed. We've, in fact, been granted and issued uh, nearly 40 patents with almost 1,000 underlying inventions in those patents. So from an IP portfolio, the company has made significant progress. In addition... Hold on one second. So I want to understand this. So what do you think is so special about your technology that is actually causing the, all these patents to be issued and so quickly? I mean, that's truly extraordinary. I think it's truly innovative. Uh, we're taking a completely different approach to something very fundamental of, uh, you know, uh, digital modulation or QAM modulation. Uh, we're essentially challenging a uh, piece of technology that's been considered almost an axiom for uh, over 40 years. Do you need a glass of water or something like that? No, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so what was the, you said there were three things. So what's the second one? The second one is in the area of uh, single carrier technology. Last year we demonstrated a QAM 4000 level capability and this year we've gone all the way to QAM 16000. Um, that's essentially a four times larger constellation, much more challenging uh, communication technology to get uh, through any channel, let alone wireless channel. And uh, I believe this is the very first uh, public demonstration of a uh, QAM 16000 equivalent uh, communication over wireless. So now what are the implications for that for carriers? So great question, and I appreciate the opportunity uh, to describe it. Today, um, in the wireless backhaul uh, market, which is where a lot of the cell phone digital communication gets funneled through, and it's essentially the artery of a lot of the cellular infrastructure, um, the technology that's being used, I believe, for the vast majority, if not nearly all, of the uh, global deployment of uh, a wireless backhaul is using a QAM 1000 level uh, capability. So we're at QAM 16,000. Again, it's 16 times um, more uh, complex technology to get through or more um, uh, co a larger constellation to get through. What that all means is essentially a growth of roughly 40% in uh, the amount of traffic you can get through the same exact channel. That's huge, given all the big data that we're talking about here at CES. Yes, and I think as um, as uh, we expect, you know, uh, significant growth in a number of internet connection connected devices, especially mobile internet connected devices, uh, the ability to go from 10 bit modulation to a 14 bit modulation will give us a significant increase, and uh, carriers should be interested in that. Fantastic. And number three, what's number three? Oh, the third area is uh, we went and advanced the technology from only single carrier uh, solution, which we've demonstrated last year, to a multi-carrier or OFDM technology. Um, OFDM is required, or essentially the underlying technology being used today in all Wi-Fi and modern cellular uh, communication. And there, that enables our technology to be used for uh, you know, the world's largest uh, markets, which are both Wi-Fi and cellular. And when you say multi-carrier, just describe a little bit for a layperson such as myself, what does that mean? It means basically a multi-point to multi-point uh, solution, uh, communication in the uh, wireless backhaul example that I've provided before, mm -hmm. uh, that I've mentioned before. This is a point to point, one antenna to one antenna. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in the case of multi-carrier, you might have multiple users connecting to multiple connections. So lower cost infrastructure per carrier as a result because they can defray the cost across all of them? What are some of the implications? What are some of the results of this? So I think uh, uh, using WAM technology compared to the existing QAM technology in uh, OFDM, cellular Wi-Fi networks would enable you to get uh, higher throughput, longer distance, significantly lower power, and, uh, and actually significant amount of spectrum savings as well. Um, spectrum is one of the key resources that are uh, very, very scarce, as you know, and sells for tens of billions of dollars nowadays. Uh, so being able to get maybe 40 or 50 percent more out of your existing spectrum room would be a very significant benefit. And when you're looking forward to the future, what do you see as the timeline where Magnacom's products are actually going to be something that we're all going to be benefiting from? 
Well, I sure hope it happens uh, as soon as possible. I would say that, uh, you know, we are now at the point where we're delivering our solution in the form of various evaluation platforms to our customers, and we're going through uh, various testing uh, levels at the customers' labs. Uh, that would be really the phase one of uh, the technology uh, incorporation into future products. Once our customers are able to confirm the capabilities of our technologies, we're hoping to uh, that they will be uh, uh, fascinated enough as we are and uh, incorporated into uh, incorporating it into their products, which ultimately result in products deployed in the field. Um, I'd hate to be a guessing man, but uh, my hope it happens in the next few years. And can you share with us any of these cu uh, customers that you were speaking to? I'm sorry, unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to do that yet, but I sure hope to do that when, it, uh, when I get permission to. Wonderful. Well, we'll be right here waiting for those announcements to happen. Yossi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And good luck at CES. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us here at RCR Wireless. Stay tuned for more from CES 2015.